In the previous video, we soldered on the first set of eight LEDs and their accompanying resistors, and then we tested them to make sure that set was working. Um, for the testing, we had to insert the ESP32, and at the moment, I also happen to have the micro SD card in the micro SD card socket. The only thing you need to remember from this video is before you start soldering again, I would highly recommend removing the micro SD card if you happen to have it mounted and removing the ESP32 before proceeding with any other soldering. Now, you don't need to watch the rest of this video. I'm just gonna use uh, stop motion to very quickly go through soldering in the other four rows of eight LEDs and finish off in real time just with these final four LEDs over here on the right hand side of the PCB. I'll say again, you really don't need to watch the rest of this video, but if you want to, it'll be quick because it's really just an excuse for me to test out the time-lapse feature of my new digital SLR. All right, so let's get started. And we're back in the room. I hope that wasn't as tedious for you as it was for me, given that you got to see it in time lapse if you bothered watching it at all. You might have noticed uh, somewhere around here in this row of LEDs, I had a, a bad test. Turned out I'd um, pretty much missed a joint. When I went back in, it looked pretty dry on this side, so I just touched it up. Um, I definitely rushed through this. It's not my best soldering job, um, but everything tested out so that should be good i'm going to just finish off these last four leds resistors and test and then we are done with this step now because of the positioning of other components um, particularly the sd socket uh, we just need to put the guide in upside down on this one it doesn't matter which four of the slots but it kind of fits about right that way Just remember to put the uh, cathodes, the short legs through the square pads or be towards the bottom of the PCB. Here, it doesn't matter that we've turned the guide upside down, that shouldn't change anything. Now I intended to pack one spare LED in the kit. So you should have 45. Um, you're only gonna use 44. Uh, the spare one was just in case I miscounted, or in the extreme, one of your LEDs didn't function properly.
I like to look down the row, the whole rows of LEDs and just make sure that each set of eight is also well aligned. And you should also find 45 of these 3000 ohm resistors in the kit. And again, you're only using 34 of them. One spare just for good luck. In my haste, you can see I've forgotten to cut the excess leads off the LED. Not really a problem at this point, but I'd want to get them out of the way before I get on with soldering in the resistors. I think I did that on one of the rows of LEDs back in the time lapse. Time to test, drop in the ESP32 for power. Now this one, if you follow the traces back from the LEDs, it's connected to U6. And the remaining four pins go off to this uh, header. Uh, there's also four uh, spare pins off one of the other ICs for the switches, and they go off to this set of sp um, spare headers here. And you know, lo and behold, that's marked with a silk screen on the back, spare. At this stage, there's nothing to solder into that. Uh, and this uh, row of header pin uh, or through holes here, also doesn't end up with anything soldered into it. Okay, all the LEDs have checked out. We can remove the ESP one more time. And that brings us to the end of this stage. The next part is gonna be putting in all the IC sockets, all 11 of them, 10 on the front, one on the back for the MAX 3232. And then we'll put in all of the little um, accompanying capacitors, including all of the charge pump capacitors around the MAX uh, 3232. All right, see you then.